So today's video on the channel is going to be a little bit different to normal. I'm going to do a new section, so some news. I'm going to do this probably once every two months, depending on how much Zoe related news, EV related news I can get. But usually about once a month on the regular Saturday release, I'm going to do a new segment. And in that new segment, I'm going to throw in some tips. So Renault driving tips, Renault Zoe tips, battery saving tips. So basically just tips that will make your Zoe life a little bit better. Uh, for when you do buy one or if you've already got one what will improve your zoe sort of running performance life performance so the first part of the news is renault have unveiled that in the netherlands they're running a pilot on the app which will allow the energy company to select when and when not your car charges so the electricity company for example let's just well we'll just simply it down pretend it's this country so let's just say british gas have realized on the grid that there's a peak demand they can l stop your charging reduce the rate of charge or you know within those reasons so it's more like they'll just turn off your charging during peak demand for five ten minutes while they're just dealing with that peak and then turn the charge back onto your car this will allow for the grid to become more stable so at the moment you know when when peak demand goes up it shoots up like that and what they normally have to do is they have to turn on another power station, fire something else up. It basically costs a lot of money for the grid to start turning on extra power resources. So what they'll do in the future is it, it will eventually be brought over to the rest of Europe. But like I said, it's been trialled in the Netherlands with, with Reynolds. And the energy provider can just turn off and on the charge rate whenever they need to control that peak demand. Where I probably see this technology going in the future is when it does come over here, they'll probably also start piling a scheme where they can pull power back out of your battery for peak demand. So rather than your car charging, if it's plugged in and they need a, a waz of power for peak demand, so let's say you charge up your workplace, for example, during the day, and your car is, is going to get charged by the end of the day and they just need one or two kilowatts of power, they can draw it out say a few hundred thousand you know ten thousand cars when evs really start taking off but let's just say in the country there's 200 evs plugged in during the day they want 200 kilowatts that's one kilowatt out of each car and that meets that peak demand so that will help balance the grid obviously more battery storage for cars are going to start coming onto the market which will also improve sort of the, the peak demand troughs for electric cars so electric cars as a lot of people think that they're going to be the problem of the grid they're more than likely going to be the solution of a long-term versatile grid in this country because the uk has you know lots of sort of power in all sorts of areas um for example in scotland they've got wind all all night um which could be stored in the car and then released during the day when it's not needed you're not going to notice one kilowatt of power missing from your battery it's, it's very 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 little so just taking one kilowatt from your battery will possibly stop you know them building a hinkley point in the future or something like that because eventually energy demand will be made up by battery storage storing excess solar and excess wind the other thing that battery related that uh, reynolds have announced is they've started to get some of their old batteries back so very old sort of early ev reynolds some of their batteries have started coming back or probably batteries that have been replaced under the lease agreement faulty cells so they'll take the faulty cells out replace the faulty cells with new ones and they're giving the batteries a second lease of life so what they're doing with that is battery storage in commercial buildings possibly a few homes they're trialing it with a few uk companies and other companies around the world so they're just the problem is they're not getting that many batteries back and there's not that many batteries that go wrong but the ones that they have replaced they are releasing the life out of the battery so they'll they'll put it into building storage and commercial storage for for a building to store up energy uh, during night on off peak and then discharge it during the day into the building again this Renault said that it improves their battery life cycle so the battery pack they're saying has a 20 year usable cycle so in other words the battery from your Zoe will last 20 years life that includes shoving it into a building in a few years you know and, and extending the life that way because obviously the, the, there's less sort of power um, and voltage and heat temperature different changes in a building so it helps extend the life a little bit longer for the Reynolds Zoe's battery which is which is fantastic it means that it's not being thrown away to landfill but don't forget everything inside a battery can be recycled again 
but that's that's what they are doing um, with LG Chem working towards these these kind of ideas, future ideas. Now for your tip this week, the probably one of the the best tips that most people who look at the forum. So obviously most people on the forum already know this, but if you're not on the forum or you haven't chance to read everything on the forum and you haven't sort of googled much about it it's all about tire pressure how to make your tires last longer in the Renault Zoe so Renault's uh, tire pressure I think from the top of my head is 38 psi that uh, that is not used by by me and it's not used by a lot of people on the forum everyone's been pumping their tires up to 40 psi this really dramatically improves the life of your tire so rather than your tire sort of degrading a lot quicker people are getting much higher ranges out of their tires making the tires last a lot longer so just pump your tires up to 40 psi and you'll get a much better sort of range out of it now i'm going to test it over the winter i might drop the tire pressure down a little bit during the winter just so they're a little bit softer for, for gripping in the snow and ice because I live in the high peak areas, which is very snowy, very hilly, very icy and very cold sort of the winter. So I might just drop the pressure down a little bit just for some grip. Um, but I won't be dropping it to what Reynolds say. I might just drop it to 39. But at the moment, I've got my tyre pressure up at 40 and that's helping stabilise the life of the tyres. The other trick uh, some people do is they rotate the tyres round. Um, some people have said at Reynolds that you can't do it because it uh, messes up the... Um, the alignment sensors for the tires for, for the learning tire pressure sensors um, I haven't tried it myself so I can't comment but a lot of people in the forum have said they've done it and they said it hasn't caused any issues so that's two things you can do pump your tire pressures up to 40 psi all the way around that's all four tires and then switch your front and rears around halfway through the life and it, that'll extend the life of the tires a little bit longer as well uh, thanks for watching this video and I hope everyone liked it. If you can please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe at the bottom. And if you have any comments, questions or anything like that about Renault Zoe, batteries or anything like that, please leave a comment in the below. I'm always reading them and I'm always replying. Anything you ask me to make a video on, I will move around to it. But thank you again for watching and I will see you next week uh, for the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.